I'm Elias Anderson, the College Conference Midwest student leader. A new thing we did as a part of College Conference this year, we actually brought all of College Conference to the monastery, to a different place on a field trip, which is something that's never been done before. To St. Sava's Monastery in Libertyville, Illinois. In the Chicagoland area, there's a lot of different monasteries, some Serbian, some Greek. But why did we choose to go to this monastery? There's a, a saint. North American modern day saint, Saint Medarde of Libertyville, whose incorrupt relics are at this monastery. He started the monastery, he built it when he came over from Serbia. Yeah, the sun was setting as we walked in. We got there at five o'clock for Vespers. We met Father Nikolai Kostor. A lot of people said that they had never been to a monastery before. So it was really cool for people to come to a monastery for the first time and see just the, the church with all of the iconography everywhere and just to see what it's like to be in a monastery. We started the day doing a supplication service to St. Mardarie, which our liturgics chair, Joseph Karos, arranged. So we actually premiered a service that hasn't been done before at College Conference, which was really cool. And that's uh, where some of the music you're hearing right now is coming from. St. Modarie, he was born in 1889 and reposed in 1935. He was canonized in 2015. So he was the first bishop uh, of the Serbian Archdiocese in America. One of the things he did was he bought land north of Chicago in Libertyville, where he helped to build this monastery. And there's stories of him riding on his bicycle from Libertyville to Chicago, which is about a 40 minute car ride to gather building materials and then ride all the way back to Libertyville on his bike to help build the monastery. And he was a sick man. He had uh, tuberculosis and he still labored tirelessly to build this monastery so there would be a place for Orthodox Christians to come together. Usually when you're buried, you're supposed to be buried facing east. But St. Madaria, by a mistake, was buried facing west. As they were lifting up the, uh, the, the heavy concrete sarcophagus lid, it fell and it cracked the coffin, and it cracked right where his head should have been. But his head wasn't there because he was ac accidentally buried the wrong way. When the coffin cracked, a sweet fragrance came out, and they smelled the sweet fragrance, and they knew that there was obviously something really holy there. So right above St. Madarie's tomb is the icon of the Transfiguration, which that was so cool because the Transfiguration was our theme at College Conference. So we had our keynotes and our workshops all built around the theme of the Transfiguration. So, so to see it so present, so prevalent, that icon at the monastery after talking about it for the past day, it was really cool to see. People really enjoyed the monastery. Someone wants it to become a tradition, and I think that'd be really cool to make it a tradition. It is expensive to, to rent three school buses to bring over 100 people to a monastery that's half hour, 40 minutes away, especially as to not increase the cost on participants uh, that money came from donations. Visiting the monastery, like for myself and for a lot of people, it, it was really impactful because it was a Serbian monastery. Uh, so a lot of people have never even been to a Serbian Orthodox church before. And to go and visit it and to see that they have the same iconography, they're doing the same service, uh, really shows a lot for Orthodox unity, especially in America. So that was eye-opening, I'm sure, for a lot of people. The, see, anytime you see an incorrupt saint or a merch streaming icon, it's a miracle. So it just goes to reinforce your faith, especially if you're struggling with something. And then to go and to hear the stories, to really hearing uh, Father Nikolai t tell the story of St. Madarie and tell the story of his relics being excavated and all the miracles associated with him. There have been miracles associated with St. Madarie since his repose. and. To hear all of that really helps people stay connected to the faith, connected to the church, see that it's still active and alive. A lot of times we think about saints and we think about St. Peter and Paul and like apostles and the church fathers who lived over a thousand years ago in another continent. But to see that we have saints in America who died not too long ago, it's really cool to see. That's the goal, right, is we're all called to be saints and to, to see people from America, which is where we're from, people who lived in America, which is where we live, achieve that, it's, it's inspiring.